Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I promised you a nerd vlog, and this is gonna be a nerd vlog, so let's do a nerd vlog. Are you ready to nerd vlog? Let's nerd vlog. Nerd vlog. All right, you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Wow, I uploaded a little, hey, coming soon video from my iPhone saying I was gonna be shooting this nerd vlog tonight, and then I said, post questions in the comments. I was like, maybe people will ask me what's going on, like, hey, what's up with this printer? Or, hey, have you tried this filament? Or, how's it going, Joel? And you guys just went bananas, and it's fantastic. So I, I can't really do the nerd vlog where I incorporate some of your questions, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this nerd vlog like I had, had planned and talk about the projects and things coming up that, that I need to talk about and then I will film a separate question and answer video based on the questions you guys left in the comments on that video. I'm going to turn off that video as soon as I upload this video because I don't, there's already so many questions and I can only answer so many questions. I hope that's okay. Let's get started then, right? With the nerd vlog. Well, first up in the vlog, I wanna show you this. This is a Benchy. This is a 3D Benchy. What's cool about this 3D Benchy is this is made with ColorFab Engine material printed on my G-Max with the new heated bed. And it turned out pretty well. This was my first try with Engine, and it's an interesting material. It's a copolyester, right? I think it's a copolyester. But I, I had a little problem right here, but the rest of it came in really well. And for my first attempt with an unknown material, I would say this Benchy is, is decent. I look forward to printing with more Engen. It's, it's kind of cool. I know Jerry over at uh, Itchy Pig, he likes Engen material. And I know he prints with it. So maybe I'll talk to him and get some tips and advice. Yeah, good going, Benchy. Well, next I wanted to show you this, and it's a, it's a low poly Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I forget who designed it, but I know I grabbed it off of Thingiverse, and it's a neat little model. I printed this in ColorFab Orange PLA, and I printed this on the, what did I print it with? I printed it on the CME CNC Orion Delta printer. It turned out really well. I mean, look at, look at the back. Look at that shell. That's pretty good. The Orion does a great job, but, well, more on that later. If you're here in the U.S., you've probably heard about Hamilton, the musical. It's doing phenomenally on Broadway, and it's sold out tons and tons of shows. So I used my, my method in Illustrator, where I can trace something and then bring it into Photoshop and extrude it into three-dimensional space and export it as an STL. So here's the, the Hamilton musical logo. This is blue color fab PLA. It turned out really well. I've printed this also in Protopasta's carbon fiber and it looks, it looks pretty stunning. I just need to do it a little bit bigger. Oh wait, what? I did it bigger. <laughs> this, is, this is big. Should I release this STL? Are there enough Hamilton musical fans out there? Would, would people like this? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I got sent this and Rather than being a fan mail Friday, this is a tool I think I will use. It's it's called the the modify modify 3D, and it's a it's a cleanup tool. It's got a knife tip, a needle tip, a point tip, and a scoop tip for cleaning up 3D models. It's USB, and it it heats up really quick. So all of these tips are heated and allow you to work with already printed models. I've got this one for testing and I've got a couple more to give away and I'm really looking forward to using this because right now I've got non-heated tools to scrape away and sand away plastic. I think it'll be very interesting to try out one of these kind of tools that uses heat to aid in the modification of the model after you've printed it. Let me know if you've used something like this or if you have any tips or tricks for using something like this. I would imagine some people probably have a soldering iron with specific tips that can do something similar to this. And so obviously that's what I'm gonna have to compare it to. Ooh, don't forget, I'm gonna be traveling. This is very exciting. May 15th, I'm gonna be in Newark, Delaware at the Printed Solid 3D Printing Store Grand Opening and Mini Maker 
Festival. Matt from Printed Solid wanted to have me out to help open the store and to film for my YouTube channel. It's gonna be amazing. There's gonna be a little mini Maker Fair. His store is going to be wonderful and full of all sorts of cool 3D printing things. I will be there giving out high fives in real life. It's, it's going to be epic. The link for the Facebook event is actually down in the description and I would love to see you out there. If you're on the East Coast and you're near Newark, Delaware, come find us. Also, there's more travel. In May, May 20th through the 22nd, I will be with Matter Hackers down at the Bay Area Maker Fair. That's right, Matter Hackers is bringing me down and I get to hang out at their booth and talk to people and be passionate about 3D printing. And they said, Joel, bring your camera, go have fun. Look at everything at the Maker Fair, film for your channel, have a good time. So May 20th through the 22nd, I will be at the Bay Area Maker Fair. Come find me at the Matter Hackers booth or find me as I'm wandering around aimlessly looking at all the cool stuff. Again, at the Bay Area Maker Fair, I will be bringing many high fives that I would love to give out in real life. This next model I'm kind of really proud of because it's ABS and rarely do I print with ABS. Look at that dragon. This is the two color dragon from Luby on Thingiverse. And this is Matter Hackers Pro ABS on the purple and on the black as well. If you look here, it didn't turn out as well as I would have hoped, but as it got up there, there was the feet that turned out and the legs. There's some stringing on the underside, but that's understandable. But look at the wings, look how smooth those are. And look at the body right here. And then finally, look at the eyeball. It's looking at you. Yeah. For an ABS print, this is wonderful. And what makes it even more astonishing is it was by default the entire way. I loaded both plastics onto my Flash Forge Creator Pro, and then I used the dual extrusion wizard in Simplify 3D, loaded this model, hit a couple buttons, covered my eyes and hit the print button, and then out came this after a few hours. In fact, I've got a video of me removing it from the print bed, and I'm going to show you that right now. One of the things I have to ask you as my audience is about this box. So I don't know if you remember, you probably do, but that cube form box that my daughter and I unboxed generated so many comments and so much discussion that I've, I've actually considered banning all forms of unboxings on my channel going forward. That said, this is interesting because a few people in the comments section talked about this. This is the Maker Box, and this monthly subscription box is designed to give filament samples to people on a monthly basis. I know some people talked about that in the comments saying that would be the kind of box they would want. So I'm gonna put up a voting thing right over here. And if you'd like to see this unboxed on my channel, I will do it. As long as the votes for yes are greater than the votes for no. <laughs> I'm almost scared to ask because of how many comments were generated last time. And I talked to the guys over at MakerBox. I informed them of what happened during the CubeForm unboxing. And I told them I'm going to ask my audience. And they said, that's a great idea, Joel. Ask your audience 
So it's up to you guys. Vote over there and let me know if you want to see this unboxed on the channel. I had to zoom out a bit for this one because I've got two printers to update you on. First of all, this. This is the Simi CNC Orion printer and it's been printing absolutely wonderfully. In fact, it's produced the best TARDIS model I've ever printed on any of my 3D printers. The problem is, and I, I knew this was going to be a problem, this is the filament tube and it's a Bowden style extruder. So as it's printing, this tube, this tube sometimes goes over here. And here's what happened. After I was printing a flat piece down low, it started to come up. And then this filament tube got jammed in between the arm and the, the part that rolls up here. And it jammed it and it went I was like, crap. So I came over here, I turned it off really quick. And then I homed it and it went just like that. But I don't know if you can tell from the video, now this is crooked. Usually it's completely level when it's all in the home position and then it stays level as it prints. It's no longer level and I don't know how to fix that. This is my first Delta printer. I have an email in to see me CNC about fixing this because I, I, I really don't know where to start. This isn't level. I've taken, I've taken arms off and I've taken the spacers apart and I've checked to make sure everything is is as it's supposed to be and as far as I can tell everything looks right but it won't it won't print because this is crooked and off level it doesn't print right on the print bed and there I don't I don't know what to do so for now the Orion is off to the side I've unplugged it and I will wait until I hear from CME CNC to see what to do next. Unless you're talented with Delta printers, do you know what I need to do here? I know this is supposed to be level and I I can check certain things to see, but but I I don't know where to start. So if, if you know, if you have an idea, shoot me an email and maybe you can help me troubleshoot this printer. I would love to get this back working. The Orion has been an amazing printer and I was really looking forward to the review. However, this has put a bit of a kink in the plans. Let me know. And finally tonight we have this printer. This is the Flashforge Finder and Flashforge sent this to me and I was going to do a review on it. I've already done the unboxing and it was unfortunately quite a while ago, but I've had some serious issues with this printer. It did not work out of the box and unfortunately it suffers from catastrophic failure. If I go to level the platform and then print, it gets up to temperature and then sits at that point until I turn it off. From there, I can turn off the printer, turn it back on. I will then level it and then I go to print. And at that point, it drives the head into the print bed, gouging it and taking out chunks. And in fact, it ruins it. So I hate to say this, but, but I, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know how to fix it. I've talked to Flashforge and they say, send us a video of it happening. And this is after I've already explained to them in great detail the steps I've taken to reproduce the problem. I, I haven't heard back. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Flashforge finder is absolute garbage. This printer is terrible and I would never ever recommend it to anybody. I can't get it working. I have no way of troubleshooting it. And the support I've gotten is essentially asking me to hit the reset button. That's unacceptable. I've heard from people who have finders that love their finders and say they print wonderfully. So something is terribly wrong with this unit. Until I get this fixed or until I hear back from Flashforge or until something happens, then this is garbage and I would not recommend this printer. And just so you know what I'm talking about, I've recorded the video of this destroying itself and I'm gonna show it to you right now.
Well, that was a fun nerd vlog. I had a good time updating you guys, and I'm glad I was able to. I was, I'm really happy I was able to give you an update on the Orion Delta printer, and I'm very happy that I could finally talk about the Flash Forge Finder destroying itself and not being a good printer overall at this point. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if there's something I missed. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. If you would like to financially support my channel, then you can click that link over there. That'll take you to Patreon where you can pledge a dollar or more a month. I never require that and I'm always gonna do this for free as long as I can. However, every once in a while, throw me a social high five. And speaking of high fives, as always, High five.